prepared for the levels of tricks the enemy is willing to deploy. Tricks, trickery, deceptions, anything that he can do, entrapment, anything that he can do to ensnare your feet. Now, according to my Bible, least you be careful that the enemy will get the upper hand on you, men and women of God. That's why we have to remain prayed up and stay prayed up because the enemy has nothing but tricks, nothing but deceptions, nothing but lies. That's who he is. His entire DNA and his children are the exact same way. And his minions on earth, are he, some people say his perpetrators on earth are full of lies, are full of deception, and they're willing to lay down their lives for this unseen enemy. Secondly, despite the levels of attack, remain fearless in the name of Jesus Christ. So when you move, you move with your chest stuck out. And don't be afraid of them. Don't you dare be scared of them. Yes. You step in his chest and you move with power. Yes. Regardless of who you think he is. Because God did not give us a spirit of fear, but he give us a spirit of a solid mind, a solid body, and a solid soul, all in the power of the Holy Spirit. So don't you dare become afraid of him. You fight him with the power of God and the whole word of God, and you put on the whole armor of God. Next, the enemy are system-based, meaning various units. A lot of units. You're fighting the units of this world, men and women of God. The units that you would never believe would turn on you. The enemy, when he deploys them, men and women of God, attacks can come from any level, low level, high level. You're fighting the system of this world. Now let's go back to a couple of different instances. Let's go back to the system of slavery. The system of slavery, which is a demonic, wicked system, was agreed upon by men. The system of Jim Crow was a system that was agreed upon by men. And even with the Jews was a system which was agreed upon and they gave the enemy power. So men and women of God, you are fighting the enemy, which is Satan, the father of this world, who has taken all the systems of this world and he has wrapped them around and they're coming at you at all different levels to take you under. This is what we will be dealing with in the future, men and women of God, and I fail to say the near future. Finally, the goal is to stand when the enemy rushes in like a flood. When you go in the book of Ephesians, Apostle Paul say the goal is to stand at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you won't stand, men and women of God. Now, you might be tattered. You might be ripped up. Or you might set up here and you might have went through some challenges and changes. But, men and women of God, you are able to stand. Today, if you are here, and today, if you are able, whatever you're going through, God has given you the ability to stand during the evil day and stand on all ten toes, men and women of God. You are blessed somebody, and the enemy envies your power. The enemy envies your strength, and the enemy sure enough wish he could be you, but he's not you because he's a candy-coated, watered-down version and a loser of the beast system.